Some me, things slip through the filter. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, things are slipping through. But yeah, we're, we're good. We're good on the fatherhood chat. Yeah, yeah, we are. Should we get some music? Yeah, man. Kendrick Lamar's album. Yeah. I'm sorry if you released music last week. <laughs> Rough week, bro. Yeah. Like <laughs> Rough week, bruv. Don't, don't drop on that day. Yeah. I'm seeing people, yeah, I've got, sorry, bro. I'll, I'm going to get to you next week, bro. Yeah, I heard Tory Lane's dropped. Ew. Sorry for that, man. Yeah, sorry for that, man. Yeah. We all listen to it, apart from, because I know Chris hasn't. Mr. Morale. Sorry? What? No, Chris, there's, oh, okay. Chris, Chris to the right. Because you're looking at me. As for the Chris to the left, maybe you listen to Kendrick's album? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, do you want to send you back to Dubai? What's going, what's going on here? <laughs> I've listened to half of it. Half of it? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a double disc album, so... Um, don't save her don't do that let's say this, let's uh, yeah, you listen, listen to side first A half. you listen to side yeah, A yeah, yeah. yeah Mr. Morale and the big uh, the big steppers that's the one I love the artwork nice simple effective man announced another child on there just you know cold he announced a lot of things on there yeah um, yeah nah d- listen I thoroughly enjoyed the album can't mm. lie to you um, I, I really love the album from the start I, I don't know if Big Steppers is the first half or not I think it, Big Steppers is more of the first half than Mr. Morales is the first half if he's doing it that way if that's how we're looking at it I'm with you because Mr. Morales it definitely feel, because of the subject matter towards the latter part of the album yeah that's not Big Stepper energy to yeah, me yeah yeah like so you've got the first half and he's there's a lot of Big Stepper shit that he's saying on there mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, um, what's the what's the one where he's like, keep playing with me and I'll turn you into a song? Like that's that's on the first half. Yeah, he's talking about on Father Time. He's talking about you know when when he saw that Kanye made back with Drake, he was confused. He didn't like, rate he, it. Yeah, he didn't rate it. So I'm like, all right. But cool. I wanted him to lean into that a little bit more, man. Like, nah, I, for, I don't. For, not not them specifically but that kind of energy give Big Sean a few more jabs and that like like like. do you know what he was like you know don't get it confused I'm still that nigga like so and then he went on to say that yeah Um, just to say that like rah like whatever you man are, are doing over there I don't rate it yeah whatever you man on I'm not on that yeah yeah Um. so a lot of that stuff in N95 as well like he's saying a lot of shit the only I think this album, yeah, is like a, is an accumulation of all the albums. You think so? Yeah. I think there's like something from for everyone on there because like I've noticed that there's, there's Kendrick fans, there's Kendrick stands, there's different types of Kendrick fans. There's, Ke- there's which Kendrick. One, which one are you? I'm the Kendrick fan that didn't necessarily love To Pimp a Butterfly like everyone else. I accept that it's great but it's not something that I went back to as as much as I did his you other albums. You weren't looking for that from him, I'm guessing. Uh, no, not, not necessarily that. It's just that it didn't really like grab me in a way that maybe Good Kid, Mad City, or even Damn. Like, there's a lot of Kendrick fans that love to pimp a butterfly, but don't like Damn. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so I feel like with this album, it's his final album. It's like um, the Avengers with Endgame. TD. It's like his Endgame. Yeah. So he's done after this. No, with with the label before with he becomes label, it? before like he goes. They've done great things with that label, and he's done great things with TDE. Do you know what I mean? Like, so it's that final release, and I think that it's an amazing offering. Yeah. Um, and it just further like, I think a, a, a few episodes back you were saying that like you didn't like the fact that he had taken this long. Yeah, but we we kind of gave. Are you happy with what he's given after that long wait? yeah I would have wanted a few more bops so that's just maybe kind of where I'm at in regards to how I'm listening to rap music at the minute yeah but I am happy with that especially because I said when he dropped the the heart part five I was re- I was liking it to like having a heavy weekend out late drinking loads eating crap living mm. fast and then Monday morning you reset and have a detox and go yeah I'm gonna I'm bang this ginger in the in the juicer with the carrot, the orange, and that, and we reset. It felt like that when he dropped that, because yeah. it's like, as much as the dance plays a big part in regards to how we listen to music, there is a world outside of the dance that we that we also need to recognize 
So when I'm talking about one in the box, that's like, that's where I'm at with rap at the minute. But I still, I just, I want, I want, I want messaging. I want to hear. Um, I love storytelling rap. Like we, um, there's a meek we love for the club, but we also lo- love um, Tony Story. Like we love a certain, mm. there's certain things from other rappers that I want to hear in it. And yeah. Kendrick has that within him. So I want to hear the lyrics. I want to hear you, Brett. I want to hear you talk about your upbringing from maybe a perspective of you're from a very like notorious violent area in terms of how you view the history of gangster rap in America, Compton, yeah. historically. But you kind of represent the guy that f- a little bit was watching from the window. You weren't overly active, but that's a different perspective as well, which we got on Good Kid, Mad City. Yeah. Like, I'm the I'm the good you to a certain degree, but I'm, my cousins are kind of crazy. Mm. Outside was mad. I had to navigate that, but I wasn't banging, but I still have a story to tell and my perspective is yeah, needed. Yeah, because you so, inherit, because you inherit um, some of the things like- you Like know, it's like, it's their mutual ends. They're too bad for the neeks, but then too neeky for the bad boys. Mm. Where yeah. do you kind of sit? Yeah. And that's how I look at Kendrick. Sometimes Kendrick. you have to get involved. Yeah. You know, and, and those street smarts will help you navigate the area. Yeah. But also being kind of book smart allows you to navigate the other thing as well. So yeah, that's how I view Kendrick. And yeah, to answer your question, I am satisfied even with the long wait. Of course, that's, maybe I would have won a few more bops. And that's also selfishly kind of for him just to kind of raise the profile of the album a little bit as well. Cause you got like markers like, okay, cool. We had a lead single or he's got this song that like, we're going to probably play that that's going to go off in it. That kind of just appeals to the masses and it just allows man to have a crazy extra run, but he's Kendrick. So it's going to be fine anyway, but yeah. So I you're going to get, you're definitely going to get, um, Die Hard, the song with Blast on the hook. Yeah. Playing on the radio loads. Um, Purple Hearts. Um, Summer Walker and Ghostface, you're gonna get Summer Walker's verse on there. She's saying, "Bro, she's sliding. How, how, how you call it love and you don't even eat ass?" So I was like, "Oh, Summer, yeah, is, is, that, is, that, is that the energy we're on?" Yeah, yeah. She said, "Baby, baby, daddy's still on the line." Come on, talk <laughs> shit, talk <laughs> shit, bro. Like, um, I think when you got certain artists that you call for a feature, and that artist is gonna come correct with the features, I think. Everyone that's featured on this project came correct. Taylor, Taylor Page, yeah, on um, we cried together. I thought that was a masterpiece. How they, like, performance-wise, yeah, how they executed that, uh, amazing. Mm. Like, it's a toxic, it's it's a toxic relationship, bro. Like, and I feel like some may feel discomfort listening to that because of how like aggressive it is it's, and it's, it's, an, it's an art piece it's an art piece and it's yeah, a representation it is, of it is. people people do speak to other like that exactly so obviously with them embodying that energy and and making it so real on a song it just like for me it sets like uh, an artist like kendrick above because you know he's he's challenging that aspect and he's able to i didn't even know taylor did music do you know what I'm saying? Like, and she's gone on and done that mm. and just blends into to Purple Hearts after that. So it's it's an album that is, that's got everything for me personally, um, produced well. Can you keep everyone happy though? Can you serve that many masters? I don't know. Um, but I just think uh, as an all round album, it's a, it's a very good album. I really, yeah. really highly. How do you feel about the presence of Kodak Black quite a lot on the album? Uh, if I'm going to be honest, I liked his contributions on that album. Yeah. I'm not a Kodak fan by any stretch. Um, but with how Kendrick used him, yeah, I liked it. Um, and I know that, you know, there was a lot of people that um, they left a bad taste in their mouth that he was a part of this project because of all the things that um his criminal history and yeah, stuff that he's had to plead guilty to with and that um, so history and stuff because you know is when you when you're someone like a Kendrick and you lean into the maybe sometimes somewhat preachy yeah maybe something about like woke remember when he's talking about the stretch mark stuff and he got the backlash about that yeah, yeah the photoshop yeah the photoshop all that stuff so are you talking to us talking at us you then look funny in the light when in some people's mind um, remember that time when they said they were going to pull R. Kelly's music off Spotify and he was one of the big vocal people about it, innit? A lot of women didn't like that. Yeah. And I could understand it. I could understand t- t- his well, perspective. He was saying, let's take it off. Yeah, so you know, he was, he just was basically like, if I remember correctly, kind of calling that as disingenuous because it's like, 
is this person getting more attention because of their race as well? Because mm. yeah, so at the time it was like some of these rock bands were like when their members had like paedophilia charges mm. and like they weren't pulling their music down. And I think at the time it was, I don't know if they were trying to pull R. Kelly's music down or take him off the playlist because the playlist give you the extra, extra visibility mm. which is how you're you're in front of this playlist, that playlist, you get more streams. Of course it's R. Kelly um, a legend actually you're going to get people listening to your music but when you're on people's faces more and on the biggest p- playlist people are going to tune into you more so are we let's not extra promote a minute and I think he was one of the vocal people that kind of pushed back against that and at the time I think we spoke about on a podcast and as much as my man's done out here and the crimes are crazy I do I do understand the perspective of if we're going to do that let's do it all across the board I know you guys just doing it from a business perspective is it reactionary because at the time the documentary is out all that stuff was happening so but when you are who you are and you represent what you represent in your music people can then hold you to account and be like this doesn't kind of maybe fall in line with how we view you or how you represent yourself. Yeah. And then we get mm. the the song um, where he says his, his auntie's now, is now a man. What's the song called uh, again? Auntie um, Diaries. Auntie Diaries, isn't it? And Donnie says the F-bomb like four or five times, isn't it? But he speaks from the perspective of the, one of Ramsey Maggots, you know. Um, I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's saying it from the perspective of how he was speaking at the time um. when he wasn't maybe disaware or I don't want to maybe an ally or a supporter of certain communities, isn't it? Mm. So I looked at it as an art piece. He just speaks- the term heavily used in hip hop, like in the early years. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? In like prime gangster rap era, you know? Um, yeah, you listen to, especially especially that um, um, West Coast rap. Yeah. You hear that in there all the time, you know? So yeah, so he's talking about his um, aunt's transgender, innit? And just talking about that experience and yeah, so there's, I, yeah, there's a that, lot that of... I looked at of like that was like the storytelling. That was the art piece for me, um, and that was like I said, the big morale for me towards the end. It, that was a big step of energy. Yeah, like um, Mother I Sober. That's like <laughs> that was that's rough. sad as hell, bro. I was like, wow, <laughs> like you know, um, abuse, trauma. Yeah, yeah, Mister Morale. Like listening to Savior, like um, it was cold as well. Like I think he gave a lot in both sides of the album yeah i think it ended strongly as well like um yeah man how do you feel about the because chris hasn't you know interjected at any point because he hasn't listened to this album (laughs) 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 but we may maybe we can have maybe this this conversation if you and you can add if if you feel like you've got some stuff to say how do you feel about maybe some of the naysayers were like it's clear my man can rap that's Mm. not up for debate but it just might not be that wavy to listen to or it doesn't give me that energy that I'm looking for. How do you feel about th- that kind of commentary around him? Let, the album? let them niggas be over there. Okay. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not by force. Yeah. He's still Mount Rushmore. He's still in a big three. Yeah. Like, whatever you lot say, like, wherever you, you know, if you want wave music all the time, then, then, then just listen to that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not for you. I don't think it's it's uh, because of all the Kendrick fans and every type of fan is going to be annoying to someone in it. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, cause, <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, coming out. The truth is coming like, out. In my mind, I was thinking, I was thinking oh, here they go again. The Kendrick here, fans. Here, yeah, here yeah. they go again. Real, real, real hip hop. Let exactly. them stay over there. Yeah, oh, yeah ex- oh, shit, okay, exactly. We will. So, <laughs> <there's>, <laughs> so they're trying to come over there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't no hoes over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're trying to get his own preach at me. So yeah, so you get that with you get that with Drake fans as well there's a lot yeah, of people that say Drake, work Drake in extremes dons. online in here like, yeah, yeah, yeah everyone yeah. works in extremes you like who you like and you're going to defend them to the end in it but for me I don't think it doesn't affect me when people are saying it for me personally I'm like you're missing out on great music yeah mm. um, so if you want to listen to whoever <laughs> yeah whoever then it's up to you wavy entirely answer. up to you see now see do you know what it is i don't take that personally but i know that is that if you want to listen to that little connotation it's just like that's why people will ask, they get defensive i don't mind that because it's just like it is what it is but, but, you say, like, no, but he, he asked me the to... no but in t- like, he asked me the question how do i feel about that's people that say if yeah, if you're asking me how yeah. I feel about people saying that, like, oh, you know, we don't want to listen to whatever he's got, then done, mm. innit? Yeah. Like, there is a snobbery in music, so there'll be a snobbery for my, the, the, the diehard real hip hop fans or Kendrick fans over there where it's like, bro, with the other stuff beneath me, and there'll be the snobbery on the other end where it's like, 
you man ain't you man ain't cool you ain't getting no babes and that because there is an argument if you're around the badders and you've got the orcs are you drawing for kendrick no, no, but you know, can I, let, let's stay here quickly. quickly. <laughs> of course if, you can. if you're around the baddies, yeah, of course you can. What Kendrick Thompson are you drawing for? It depends on the, no, 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 on the way to brunch, you listen to Kendrick, yeah. On the way to the club, you listen well, to Kendrick. Well, bitch, don't kill my vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, yeah. On the way to brunch, on the way to church. I love, don't do that. I love Kendrick, by the way. So do that. But um, now, nah, do, do you think do you think it's because of social media that this is why it's got so bad? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a loud minority. It's not like, but I don't want to ignore it. And I think it's just good for the conversation. Mm. I think there is like, I'll be honest, bro. If I'm around the hoes, I ain't putting on Rakim. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Rakim Allah, one of the God MCs. I ain't putting on Big Daddy Kane. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> but why do you have to take it all the way there? <laughs> Let's take it back to the essence. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that, bro. Like, like people say the same thing about like Nas and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But we had Hema sitting there, like yeah. saying that. But she a whole tech babe. She, she was defending me, but. As soon as we've got her on the couch, niggas are like, yo, he's just saying. Yeah. I'm like, bro, man, she listens to Nas. That's what you're saying. The, the man are easily led. So if the babe suddenly like, they're flocking to Kendrick, the man's going to run over there. Is that what you're saying? Nah, I like that, man. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. Nah. The flesh is weak, not, bro. Huh? We spoke not. about the vetting process earlier. The flesh nah, is weak, innit? So wherever the baby's like, man, run over to it. I'm telling you, the baddies know good music. They do. And yeah, and women do like, conscious, real, whatever, however you want to coin it. They do like, it's not just the wave stuff, but. I do feel like that that There's statement does place, it bro. does ring true. Like if man has got the orcs, yeah, I'm trying to get lit, bro. There's a time and place, man. Like I'm imagine you come to my party, yeah. And someone's like, yeah, let's turn up, let's play some Kendrick. He's not that. Don't type. do that. Don't 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 do that. But or, what song would you play that? Imagine you're my party, my birthday party. I just do my birthday. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like, like, be that. silly, but I'd be silly. Like at the end of the day, yeah, he's got songs that will go on a playlist, but. There's a reason why, like, a, a lot of his albums are placed in such high regard, you know, in comparison to a lot of these niggas. Because he produces, you know, great albums that people can go back and reference. Do you know what is, the thing is, I agree with you, I agree with that, I agree with that, but we need to also keep on the art is very subjective, right? It is. Like, a lot of the films that um, win, win Oscars and stuff, they're not films that we would go and watch on a normal day. Like, they just happen to be acclaimed by people who have decided to be no, viewed disagree. as the greats. Uh, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. That's fair Will enough. Smith won an Oscar f um, for King Richard. Bear, one, bear people went out and got. Okay, okay, okay. That's one, Will Smith it. has been around since before I was born and he's won one Oscar. Yeah, but he's been nominated. Like I said, films that win Oscars ordinarily, you wouldn't go and watch. I did say that would ordinarily. Let's look Training, on some man, man. <laughs> But yeah, so it's just like um, and when you say you hold albums in high, which is I respect it. Like I can, he's talented, yeah, but I just wouldn't. But it's, you know, it's how you could, it's, him, it's like, art's very, very subjective. I, 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 it's I very, very subjective. I, I, I do. I understand the, exactly. the argument. Yeah, like I, don't think um, an argument. I, I put on this album. I heard Worldwide Steppers, and I was like, "This is some bullshit." Mm. Cool, like whatever you're saying is cool. Yeah, but I don't want to. I, I, I'm skipping this. Yeah, just I, I'm listening it. I'm listening mm. to it a few times when I'm listening to the album a few times. But once I've sat with the album, mm. yeah, that song is coming off. Yeah, because there was also a fine balance where like they're quite putting that's the, the that's the Kendrick put, that I don't like. Putting like, medicine in the candy, like just because you've got good messaging, mm. it's like niggas like, oh yeah, I do Christian rap, bro. Don't slap, bro. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, like I, I hear you. I hear uh, like listen, big up the God thing and that, but brother, like <laughs> <laughs> this music don't slap. There, there has to still be a balance, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, there has yeah, to be, yeah, and yeah. and that is the maybe the tougher balance for the guys that do have a positive message where yeah. it's like it's it to appease. It? To, it's got yeah. like sonically, like that's one thing I do like about this that like. The musicality is great on there, isn't it? That's one thing that I think is cold about mm. about his album, isn't it? And his message is going to be, but sometimes you might have a slight miss where you might just want to do the rapping about rapping thing. And like I said, I might not want to hear that right now. Mm. So there will be some misses. But I think what he was speaking to earlier about like it being in high regard and kind of standing maybe the test of time is that a lot of this music we've the got The test like, of time? Bro, um, I, st I still listen to Good Kid Mad City now. Like, and in, t in terms of like, is that standing the test of time? I thought you were talking like um like in nineteen ninety two. No, but in in this day and age we live in now, yeah, 
Everything's that, microwavable. That, so, like, that, so for us to still be listening to that, that album now, mm. that like is a standard. ten year old, yeah, yeah, a ten year old. I'm sorry, you're speaking to. Yeah, going yeah. back to something that was made like ten years ago, and still enjoying it as much. Mm. Like that is. Yeah, okay, I get what you're coming. Think about how many rappers you've listened to and have come out in that time period that haven't had many albums out, had a hot song for for a quick period or a song or two. And they're just like nowhere to be seen it. So mm. you can, uh, if after he was speaking about it, where like you have to be careful as an artist, where it might have been Vince Staples probably. Cause I watch a lot of his interviews and he's, he's a really good, mm. really good conversationist where he's talking about being careful about going and grabbing the bag and being in the club. You might, yeah. a, lot, a lot of the down south artists do when they come up from the streets and that they might go and get 40, 50K in a club. That's their appearance for right now. But they can't necessarily do stadiums and do yeah. the do the, the 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 tour of the nation, go Europe, go across the world, and eventually, and and it dies out. And eventually, you're not always, and it's always a young, a new young you sipping lean, that's got a better always. story than you, yeah. that's going to come up and have a new song, and he'll be in a club now, and then you're kind of rubbed out, or your fees gone lower, but you can't tour, and you don't have a body of work, you don't have songs that are really going to resonate, mm. and to a degree. <sighs> That grind is maybe a little bit harder because you're doing, trying to do four or five of those in a night, moving mm. around a lot, where if you've got the tour set up, and of course, if you're in business with the right people, like mm. someone like the big artists like Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drake can do, where Drake's gonna come in and do three nights. Mm. For you to do that, you have to be in business with the right people, the heavy hitters, the right tour people, mm. Live Nation, whoever, the right um, record label. You can move around and you ain't got to worry about being in a club every night, because mm. that can also be very taxing. So it's just finding that balance and like the, the rave, the club, however you want to term it, is a big part of our thing, but it's not the only part. Mm. Because there's different settings. Like when I, when, when albums like this come out, I want to play it when I'm cleaning. So I'll put on a certain speaker in my house. I might want to go for a walk because I've got my AirPods in. I might want to play it when I'm in the gym. You put it on in the car. There's different settings, in it? Mm. I'll come here. There's times I'm here early and me and H should just be reasoning and they put the music on the big studio speakers. There's different settings for music. Mm. And of course, like you said, man, want to get lit, bro. <laughs> I can't lie to you. Man, man's in the club. I don't want to hear no Big Daddy Kane. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hear that. No, I think also like, these people want to shake their bum, bro. Put on the city girls. Do something, bro. Yeah, you're you want very, to see cheeks move, innit? You're very right that there's certain feelings that you want certain some music to evoke. Like, yeah, yeah. Fair. Because they're, 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 they're sad nigga hours, bro. Man, man, put, <laughs> man, man, put a sad nigga hour playlist, bro. You're driving late yeah. night, listening to like some deep party next door cuts. Like you like. You want to hear certain things, in it? So yeah. there, there's a mood. And when I when I when I'm in my, when it's like aggression, and you're trying to go have maybe in the gym, or whatever, you might put on that drill playlist. Mm. There's different things for different times, in it. So I think once you recognise that, it will be easy to deal with. Of course, yeah. art is very very subjective, and I don't I don't. I think there is like a core that it should be in regards to rap, hip hop, but the things got so broad and bigger now. Where like I'm not mad at uh, some young youth if they look at their wave artists as lyrical, because mm. some of those guys do say somewhat witty stuff. And I can't say that my I enjoyed I enjoyed future lyrics here and there. Mm. I do have my core, which is maybe leans more to like a Kendrick style rapping, mm -hmm. but those guys still have something to offer as well. So. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like um, I can never just say that because sometimes like the, there's the there's the accent barrier that makes people assume that these men are waffling because you're not they're from down south. Yeah, you're not necessarily catching what they're saying with the auto tune. Um, plastered all over it but some of these men are saying some shit but in terms of like um, you know the discussion here with this album Kendrick has the ability to convey various different personalities well on songs I was saying that listening to Father Time and how he raps on there that's my favourite type of Kendrick yeah. like I'm here to rap no different voice this is my organic like i'm angry type so let me said, rap Sebi said he you. does the helium thing i died when i saw that i was dying <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, he has been criticized for the different voices but he's, he's using your voice <clears throat> as an instrument and like trying to like find different personalities and play around with things and i'm not mad at rappers because like you might have been a different creative space isn't mm. it? you might want to try a thing it doesn't always bang like we've been people have been critical of J. Cole it'll be like brother let other people produce your stuff bro like you don't have to hog all the I beats I think it's it? good it's good when artists try new sounds and try new things because you, how else are you going to grow yeah how else are you going to grow how else are you going to improve even beyond the greatest artists in time their sound has actually evolved it's never been the same thing at the start yeah absolutely finish. absolutely man never like, as you grow like 
experiences as well like you know you really get into your bag like mm. you know sometimes listening to this album it makes me wonder about Kendrick's music collection what is he listening to because he incorporates different types of sounds into his music um, but then you know you still have songs on this album that remind you that I am a West Coast artist that traditional West Coast yeah yeah yeah, that's why that's why I asked early like um, just about like trying to appease, trying to keep everybody happy. Like, can you successfully do it? Because you're speaking about like on Father Time, there's a certain Kendrick you like, like just kind of as close to his natural voice as possible. Mm. No different vocal inflections, no whiny voice, just rapping, just straight rap. You like that, but it might be the other person that likes Kendrick when he almost does the Eminem thing a little bit, mm. or does the um, the helium thing, as Sebi will say, or leans into okay cool I'm a big rapper big artist I still need to deliver a big song mm. like we kind of got that but I think for me I think just my personal opinion closest to what some of the perfect balance of Kendrick is Good Kid Mad City where you're getting everything to a degree but I'm still I'm appeasing the West Coast I'm appeasing the purest hip hop I'm appeasing the the business side of music where I need a hit and he got them on there you know, some people may argue a close representation of him is Section 80. So there's different Kendricks in it. So I think that's what it's it's a gift in it to have that in it. So yeah, um, and I think at this point of his career, like he's not necessary, he's not chasing a hit. I think there's there's songs on the album that are just gonna go because it's good music and he's at that level. Um, you Don't know. just chilling in Ghana playing PS5 with the locals and I just chilling, bro. Yeah, um, and the same with Cole when he dropped off season. There wasn't like a, like a focus on the hit single. Bro, it's it's like, still a it's great like album. Dumbest consumers. Don't until it's the off season, bro. I'm chilling out, bro. I gave you the album. I'm going to go and relax, bro. Like, yeah. don't tell me to come and do no freestyles and hang out and that. I've given you loads of verses on this album. Let me go and relax in it. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I enjoyed the album. But I just think like, I want to have that conversation because I think there's a slightly wider conversation with Kendrick and it happens with the, the people that lean more to the purest side of hip hop where it's like, okay, cool. What about the, 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 the big bang or what about the dance or the boring element as well? Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that's a problem with us, but I think it is. Turning up and being and enjoying is good as well. That's just me. Um, mm. You know, we've got- Do you think we're too, think too focused on flexing? Yeah. Um, and I don't, if, if that's what you were searching for when, he announced you that came to the wrong place yeah he came <laughs> you know you clearly but he, Kendrick yeah I mean he he's just got other shit to say yeah he, he there's little jots of flexes on there yeah you know even just like we were talking about generational curses they were like oh you've broken the generational curse oh, no, just no. from a on a on a money perspective like you know his and he's putting members of his family on you know baby Keem He's. I think he's gonna lead towards him um, when he fully launches the the PG Lang. Yeah. PG Lang. No, I'm so, with it, man. I enjoyed it. So yeah. yeah. This is this a PSA, Chris? Go and listen to Kendrick's album, man. Go. I'll give go, it a go, try. Go, go, like go and cleanse your soul. I respect myself in it, and I just know that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I respect myself, and I know that. Um, like you mentioned earlier, like um, when you're looking for a certain feeling, know who to pick, and I just know it's not Kendrick. Like I, off the top of my head. I can't tell you I know more than three songs of his. <laughs> like, In Vance's head, he's saying, sucks to be you. <laughs> <laughs> possibly, possibly. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe mm. not. But yeah, maybe one day I'll have that because what happens as well is sometimes I could hear one song or watch something. Like for example, a good example is Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle, I didn't find funny up until maybe like 2020. Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly. Then I, I watched one thing then I went back in time. I was like, nah, this guy is funny. So that could happen as well. That could happen. It's happened. It happened with um, what artist was it? It's happened with music as well. Where it's just like raw. I've been missing out. Yeah, I don't, I don't, like I don't. Um, music is is uh, is a beautiful thing because mm. it's so broad in itself. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's a lot of people that are focused on like black music only, mm. and then there's people that listen to everything. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, music is good music is good music and you know well, whatever genre it black is black people only space yeah so <laughs> African only live stream I hear you um, but I'm just saying like you know there's different there's a different type of listener mm. and there's 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 artists that are out there that you may not have got initially mm. but 
once they put it out there, it's there forever, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So whenever you catch on to it, it's not a problem. That's another thing about art as well. It's a slight segue, but um, for people like that who don't want to, who maybe they sing their app or they just want to get in the studio or anything, like we will never get the chance to, but we'll never, we're never going to chance to appreciate what you can do if you don't put it out. Yeah. That's me. Yeah, you studio rappers are annoying, but release your music, bro. Pardon? Imagine, studio rappers are annoying. Imagine, that oh, all, the, imagine all these dope pods are just kept on, on a hard drive. Yeah. And mm-hmm. the thing is, is that once you submit it, it's out there. It's out there, yeah. You know, Man, you want a response. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Do you know what or it lack is? of even. Do you know what it is? <laughs> and, and certain artists like, you know, um, are afraid to, you know, be themselves mm. because there's an open forum for people to criticize now um, in a way that there wasn't before. There's a lot of think pieces, you know, like, and there's people like hip hop, for example, being the, the number one genre in the world. 